Hi guys, um, Flo here, the consulist. In today's video, I'm going to future proof and clean this nice Radeon HT 4890 graphics card. I bought this about two years ago for I think 10 euros and yeah, I bought it just because it was very cheap and I thought maybe I can use it for a future build and this time has come now. So I accumulated a few uh, things like a nice motherboard CPU for an uh, XP build. So that's the graphic card I want to use. I think it's from 2009. It is working. I tried it on the my father's PC, but it got hot instantly and not a little really 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 hot so i suspect all these thermal components thermal paste thermal pads are shot i also will replace these uh, three caps here i bought new ones from panasonic so i will replace these clean the whole board because it's really not super clean all the dust is baked in. So, without any more waffle, let's get started. So, first things first, um, let's disassemble the thing. I don't know exactly how because I never did this, but I think it can't be that hard. So I think I have to remove all these screws and I think this clamp here, yeah, I do this. Fortunately, all the screws are the same length, so no problem here. So then here, the next thing is the X-clamp. So that's off. So let's see. Does this... Oh. I forgot the cable here. Turn it around. This comes off and yeah, exactly what I thought. Look at this. That is completely dried. That's all gunky and here no, that doesn't look good so this needs a good clean and let's take a look here yeah that's even worse so first I think I try to get this off here That's gross and sticky and mm, look at the nice fluff here. Yeah, that's really nasty. So now I have to 
get in here. There are screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I can remove this and maybe I blow here, through here with compressed air to get all the dust out. So let's see. Yeah. I clean this in the sink. The fan, obviously not. Let's see here. Yeah. What's this? Look at this. Yeah. That goes in the sink too. So now first let's remove the old um, thermal paste thingy or whatever is left. So I clean it, clean all the parts here from the um, exhaust fan, and then I'm back and clean the main board here. Put on new thermal paste and new strips of um, thermal pad, and then I reassemble it. I cannot test it at the moment, but. I will make a video about the, the build, so because I have no um, power supply, yeah, I clean this and then I'm back with the PCB. So guys, now I have the parts for the fan cleaned. They came out all pretty nice. They were really, really dirty, so and the all the dust was baked in from the heat. Yeah, the fan, I'm not really glad with this. It's a little noisy, I think it's like the bearing is not the best. I looked it up and I found, yeah, you can buy them, but from China. So this will take a while, but for now, I think I'm okay with it. If it's really too noisy, yeah, I have to think of a, another solution. Now I put this part together and then I can concentrate on the main part of the graphics card. nice and back together so I put this aside and then we can take a look at this yeah, it's super greasy you see first I put my gloves back on because I really really normally I don't wear these but this thermal paste stuff is so nasty so let's see if we can get this off nice and clean so now I clean I think these are all the RAM chips clean this So now it's nice and clean and shiny. Yeah, that is what I want. And now I am going to change these three caps here. I bought these new ones, are the same. 
330 microfarad 16 volt Panasonic. So I will change this, put it all back together, new thermal pads, thermal paste, and then this should be good. Hopefully, let's see if it runs crisis. But this will be, I think. So now I did this version to twist it. Normally I don't really don't like it, but I couldn't get it off. So now let's see. No, ah, the pads are okay. So let's see if I can get the rest of the legs off. I hope. Yeah, that was hard. Damn you, ground plane. So let's clean up, up the pads and I hope I didn't mess anything up. So, it's looking good. Yeah, I do the same with the others because it's really a pain to get these off. So that's not a how-to video because I'm, it's all self-taught, so... All good, all good. No ripped pads, no ripped pads. <laughs> oh, it's, it's quite nice. Today's Thursday, I think. I'm not at work, I'm at home. I'm in quarantine, so yeah. It's nice to have a little more time. Get tested positive with COVID on Monday. Yeah. But I'm, I'm vaccinated, so I'm no symptoms or anything. But still, here you are quarantined and are not allowed to leave the house. So now I'm sitting at home with my wife and my daughter. And so, yeah, we have to find things to keep us busy. And yeah, I have a pretty big backlog of projects. So that's actually very convenient. So these were the old caps. I don't know what, which manufacturer, but I ordered these Panasonic ones. Yeah, these are were not cheap. I think they cost, I think, 99 cent, euro cent per piece. So. So I make this one on camera and the rest I do off camera and yeah. So yeah, now that it's on here, I do the rest off camera and then I think I make a reassembly montage. Oh no, I show you first the, the pads here. So see you in a bit. So guys, all the caps are on, nice and solid. So now it's time to put on the thermal pads here, here and here. And then I put on the thermal paste, put it back together and then we should be good. So guys, that's my first GPU future proofing. 
I hope it is still working because I think it's a cool card. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it was helpful for you if you want to do the same. It's not really a hard thing to do. Just take it apart, note where you took which kind of screws out. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, maybe you give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like. And again, thank you very much for watching this video. And I see you in my next one. Bye.